The Mughals are gone, but their vision survives. The America of Edison and Rankin has given way to an alien ideology. It isn't the communism or Judaism that the Gentile elite once feared. It's Americanism, as defined by Hollywood. The icons endure. The little guy fighting the odds. The pogrom imagery. The desperate desire to survive. And the various races assimilating to create the ultimate happy ending. I'm not Jewish. Nobody's perfect. A white middle class president articulating the Jewish experience writ large. A new global religion, Hollywoodism. Perhaps it's fate that today is the 4th of July and you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression or persecution, but from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live to exist. There was a Hollywoodism then, there's a Hollywoodism today. I would go further and say it is what is the ruling ideology of our culture. Hollywood culture is the dominant culture. It is the fantasy structure that we're all living inside. With this background, you can be more discerning about the propaganda you receive from Hollywood. This program has been brought to you by the United States Department of Health and Human Services. You're watching HHS, the Health and Human Services Network. If a natural disaster happened and we were outside the home, we would probably all meet, I'll say, around the grocery store, you know. We would all meet at a bus stop. That is our meeting place. Well, we would probably just meet out in front of the house. Oh, we'd probably meet at our neighbor's house. If you have no plan, then you can just plan what to do as it happens. Come to a place that's new and unique. A place of health, well-being, and preparedness, where connection leads to inspiration and empowerment. Come to HHS, the Health and Human Services Network, a 24-7 commercial-free resource for high-quality health and emergency preparedness information from the world's leading experts whenever and wherever it's needed, at home, at work, on the air, and on the web. HHS, the Health and Human Services Network. So if the goal is to reduce excess populations, as Foreign Affairs Journal advertisement says, we need more wars, including our government's war on terrorism. We need to inject more people, especially black people, with infectious diseases. This is why this image of a needle inserted into a vial of vaccine is said to be synonymous with preparedness and the positive virtues of inspiration and empowerment. Why they show flu vaccine vials rolling off the assembly line and equate the vaccine as delivering, quote, high quality health. Why they plug CIA agents as so-called health experts like Dr. Anthony Fauci. Why they say the HHS will be there for you in an actual emergency, 
just like they were there following Hurricane Katrina. Why they need to reinforce, reiterate, and convince you that they are an accurate and reliable resource when it is precisely that which they are not. Why they show life's riskiest profiteering in genetic engineering and biotechnology as a trusted partner in good health. And why they inject a happy black woman for especially emergency preparedness and beckon you to come to their paradise. In conclusion, the new unprecedented risks we now face as a nation and world bring us to the brink of annihilation. This prognosis includes possible extinction. The motives underlying our own destruction include greed, ignorance, generalized fear, and malice against other nations and people, as shown in this persuasive propaganda. As this program ends, I pray you are better able to make choices consistent with accurate intelligence and wisdom. Take Dr. Kano's advice, study the government propaganda on their information sites, recalling what you have learned here. Each of us needs to make a critical choice. Either we awaken to the truth that shall set us free, or dismiss the truth and increase our risk of dying early. It was once said that ignorance is bliss. Consider carefully who might benefit from your ignorance and who might be harmed. Give me an S. S. Give me a C. C. Give me an A. A. Give me an M. M. What's that spell? Scam. What's that spell? Scam. What's that spell? Scam. <laughs> Son of a bush needs your help again. He's got us all in a terrorist jam. When daddy said, come and talk to old Saddam. So don't roll up your sleeves of vaccines in your arm. They don't tell you that to do any harm. And it's one, two, three. What are we fighting for? Most people know it's a scam. Next stop is old Baghdad. And it's five, six, seven. Open up the pearly gates. Well, we got no mind. We're all gonna die. Now prepare yourself, generals, for the big class. Indian, Pakistan are heating the fast. Why well, you should go out and kill them dead. Cause the only good tale about is one that's dead. They say global peace can only be won. And they blast us all the kingdom come. And it's one, two, three. What are we fighting for? The clueless just don't give a damn. Where the hell is Pakistan? And it's five, six, seven, open up the pearly gates. Well, with Prozac minds, we don't care to know why. We're all gonna die. Now, come on, Wall Street, don't be slow. My man, this is war, so go, go, go. There's plenty of big fortunes to be made. Supply the Chinese with the tools of the trade. Just hope and pray that if they start the bomb, and they'll drop them on Osama bin Laden. And it's one, two, three, what are we fighting for? The clueless just don't give a damn. Wake a dog at old Sedan. And it's five, six, seven. Open up the pearly gates. Well, we've got no minds to question why. We're all gonna die. Take it hard. Pack your boys off to old Baghdad. Come on, fathers, don't hesitate. Send your little girls to before the wedding day. Be the first ones on the block to have your kids come home in a box. And it's one, two, three. What are we fighting for? The clueless just don't give a damn about the oil in Afghanistan. 
And it's five, six, seven, open up the pearly gates. Well, the Rockefellers say the population's too high and half of us need to die. So come on, all you dumbed-down men, that son of a bush needs your help again. He's got us all in a terrorist jam. Alston Daddy's partner holds the damn, so don't roll up your sleeves for any shots in your arm. It's smarter to stay on the farm, that's all. No!